Hey everybody, this is Eric Folks, Mobile Learning Specialist for Lampasas ISD. Today I wanted to show you how you can uh, create an uh, Apple ID or an iTunes account uh, so that you're not prompted for a credit card during the creation process. First thing I'm going to do, of course, is go to my settings and make sure that I am connected to the Wi-Fi. Uh, after you connect to the Wi-Fi, you will want to give it a minute or two to make sure that Barracuda doesn't pop up. Uh, if it doesn't pop up, just to be extra safe, you may want to go to Safari and uh, go to any new website, uh, but you want to actually type out the whole thing. So I'm going to type www.bbc.com. Something short and sweet, but type out the whole thing. Don't hit any of the suggested websites underneath there. Maybe want to hit the space bar afterwards. Click Go. If the page loads just fine, then you're good to move on. Um, if Barracuda pops up, you may have to put in your Barracuda credentials. Uh, that'll look something like uh, this, okay, right there in the web browser that'll pop up. Um, just put in your regular computer username and password just like you did to join LISD SEC, and then uh, the page should load. When the page loads, then you're good to go to the App Store, okay, and here's the App Store, but if I was to um, search for it. I can do it this way and go find the App Store where I've got, wherever I've got it. You can also just kind of pull down and use the Spotlight Search to pull up the App Store. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure you're on the Featured tab and scroll all the way down towards the bottom. And you can see on the left hand side I am not signed in to any account. That's good. That's what we want. If you are signed in to an account, uh, maybe it's a an iTunes account that you don't want to be using, um, you're going to uh, go ahead and sign out of it. Rather than uh, sign in and create an account, if I did that I'd be prompted for a credit card. What I'm going to do, here's the trick, is I'm going to pick any app that is absolutely free. And in this case this Vio Music right here is the first one I see that's free and doesn't have a price associated with it. So I'm going to click on that and when I say I want to get it and install it, it's going to ask me if I want to use an existing or create one. I'm going to say I want to create a new one. And because the app was free, once I get through the setup process, it's going to give me none as a payment method option. So I click Next, and I read all of my terms of service, all 36 pages. And then I need to put in a email address. This could be my personal email, a hotmail, a gmail, something like that, or it could be your school email, your at lisdtx.org account. Uh, you definitely don't want to use your old email, um, the lampasses.k12, because that's going away in August, but really any email is going to work for our purposes here. So I'm going to use the only email I have access to that doesn't already have an Apple ID associated with it. I'll go through this as quickly as I can. Password's got to be at least five, uh, eight characters with one capital letter. You want to make sure that you uh, put this down somewhere uh, that you can find it. One of our other videos will show you how to reset your password if for some reason you lose it. Okay, so we do have to go through the questions here. So add, select whatever questions you want. Put in your answers. Now, uh, I'm going to click the little down arrow right here uh, for my keyboard in the bottom right, just so that goes away. And then I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. Here's a trick. Take your home button and your power button and do a quick press and release to take a quick screenshot of your security questions and answers and then it's in your camera roll in case you need it down the road. Rescue email is optional. You do have to actually put in your um, date of birth. Uh, you can fudge this a little bit if you want to so you feel better about it, but um, the reason you have to put this in is to ensure that you are over 13, which is part of Apple's terms of service. I'm going to go ahead and turn off those two subscribe emails. I get plenty of emails from, from them already. That's the hardest part of the whole process, is getting a password that they will accept. Now you'll notice because I chose a free app initially and then tried to, and then created my account, I've got none as an option. This is the only way you can get none that I know of. I do have to fill out this uh, billing information. 
you can use uh, your information if you want uh, or if you want uh, to include you know the uh, school's uh, address instead of your own if you're uncomfortable with that or something like that you're, you're welcome to do that as well I would uh, encourage you to go ahead and put in your phone just because uh, usually uh, if you forget your username and password, uh, one of the ways you can reset it is through a text message that they'll send you a little code for. So I'm going to click a little, uh, I'm going to scroll up and click next. Okay, so notice now it says a verifi verification email has been sent to my account. So now what I'm going to need to do is go over to that email account. Okay, and you know, typically you can do this on your actual iPad if you've already set up your email account that you use to create the iTunes account, or if you uh, just want to use your computer like I'm doing right here, that works too. You can see my verify now. And it'll ask me to put in my uh, iTunes username and password, the one that I just created. verify and then it gives me a little notification that it's been verified okay uh, important step so now I'm going to go ahead and sign in uh, to the App Store on the iPad itself and I'm going to say done and here Initially, when you first get started, it may have you put it in uh, more than once just to confirm that you are who you say you are. Okay, and it's given me an option. Do I want to always require the password or just require it after 15 minutes uh, from the last time I entered it? Uh, I usually go require after 15 minutes. Obviously, if this was a device I was going to be letting my kids use, uh, I would say require every single purchase. All right, so it downloads and now it gives me the option to open. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact anybody in curriculum or technology. We'd be more than happy to help you out. Appreciate your time.